As I'm getting to number one, I can tell you that number one will keep your makeup in place the longest. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. Now in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the top five face powders that keep your makeup in place. These are all of the powders that I honestly would recommend to anyone if you are interested in keeping your makeup on all day or as good as. So we're gonna go through them one by one, starting with number five and then going up to the top spot of number one. Now, if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And come say hi over on Instagram too because I do a lot of reels and unboxing and all sorts. So yeah, don't forget to come say hi there too. Now let's head straight into the video. And we're back with the top five powders which will help to keep your makeup in place. Now these are all powders that I have personally tried and I use them kind of like on and off, like depending what kind of look I'm going for, but also depending on the type of foundation that I use because I do feel that that makes a difference with how the powder kind of sits on the foundation. So I wanna start off with number five and then we're gonna work our way up to the number one spot. So this isn't just like random five powders, this is literally from number five being the best, but at number five, going up to the first spot, which I think is the ultimate setting powder, which helps to kind of like keep your makeup in place. Now, let me just explain. These are kind of setting powders, but I do feel that you can use it in different ways. I don't think that you have to use these set setting powders in that traditional baking technique. And I will kind of like explain the baking technique to you and the different ways of applying it. I am currently wearing the one that is at number one. Honestly, it has to be the one that I can always rely on it never fails me and yeah but we'll get to that one let's start with the first one now the first one is the hourglass veil translucent setting powder initially i'll be honest i wasn't really that keen on this powder because i tried it with the baking technique and i didn't think it really worked that well with it but after using it in different ways i kind of saw that you don't really need to bake with it and that was probably my mistake but equally i feel like you know baking has become such a big thing that you just kind of assume that's the only way to kind of set your makeup which is wrong you know so I never used to bake like even now I don't bake in the traditional way baking I know is what you see as being kind of like you press the powder on you pack it on and then you leave it to kind of bake you know set for a little bit and then you brush off the powder well I personally don't do that with any of the powders I actually put it on press it in and then dust it off immediately I do not let it set there because what happens is you start to get that really cakey finish and it just enhances every line and it doesn't look that great so that's why I like to kind of just brush, brush it off straight away so anyway even with brushing this off straight away I found that it wasn't it kind of like it, it set so quickly which then kind of made me realize that okay if this is still looking kind of like cakey and weird and like patchy after me brushing it off immediately then maybe I don't need to actually bake at all with it like maybe I need to actually just brush this on with a powder and that's where I really saw the great results from this powder because I feel like that's where I could actually see that okay you don't need to press it into the skin it actually sets the foundation really well without having to press it in with just a brush so basically what I do it kind of opens up like this and I literally just get my brush and I usually use this one which is my veil powder brush and I basically just kind of like dip it in I take off the excess and then I kind of like just dust it over my skin so I'm just gonna very lightly doing that now even though I already kind of got a brush on I mean a powder on that's basically what I do and then for the under eyes I get a smaller brush which is usually my real techniques brush press it in here and then I just basically kind of like dust it on my under eyes and I actually think that this is probably one of the best powders that you can use if you don't want to bake so I feel like that's the best powder for like, if, you just, if you're just dusting the powder on with a brush, if you don't wanna bake, if you don't wanna use a sponge to, or a puff to press it into the skin, using a brush, it's just a really easy powder. And I feel like this is definitely a powder you need to try because it gives you a very kind of like, almost filter velvet finish to your skin. It just keeps everything in place, like without it being cakey but again you have to apply it in this technique I feel like because I feel like with baking it can just go a bit weird I do feel like this powder kind of like blurs any kind of imperfections but also the great thing about this is it is 
talc free so it's a talc free powder and it's also vegan it's a clean beauty brand so it kind of ticks all those boxes if that is important to you the color generally i think go kind of goes with any skin color like it's translucent so it doesn't leave a kind of cast over your skin it doesn't leave that white finish it doesn't leave that kind of like weird color difference i feel like this kind of goes with most skin colors so if you're especially when you're dusting it on so you don't have to worry about it leaving that kind of thick kind of color left behind also it is finely milled so it's ultra ultra fine so literally and i feel like the ultra fine powders don't work well with baking I, i've noticed that most of the powders that i use which are super ultra fine milled they're not good with baking and maybe that's what it is i don't know what it is I'm like maybe because it doesn't stay in place it just ends up kind of like setting in that little area i don't know what it is but it it generally it fine milled powders do not suit suit baking but then not everyone bakes so you know this is great if you're just using a brush it's also really really good you know if you're not like me and you like say you don't wear a lot of foundation or you you wear more of a kind of tinted moisturizer or something very light this is amazing for that because i feel like it just it gives you that re it's got light reflecting particles in there so it really helps with kind of like just diffusing the skin a little bit so the texture isn't, isn't as visible so that is my number five and my number four powder is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder this is a worldwide bestseller now I'm going to be honest I used to use this all the time on all of my clients and I kind of alternate between all five of these powders now so this was the main one I used to use but I feel like other brands really stepped up their game when it came to like setting powders so I have about the, these four five are the ones that I would kind of alternate between depending on the type of makeup look that I'm doing and the skin that I'm working on and the skin color. This specific powder doesn't necessarily suit every skin tone like the original translucent powder because I do feel like it kind of left a bit of a kind of cast over darker skin tones like much darker than mine. It is a little bit denser than most powders especially it's definitely not a fine milled powder. It keeps your makeup in place. It is it does give a really nice kind of velvet finish to the skin and I would say this kind of like does the job it's a very good all-rounder I wouldn't say it is the best setting powder but it is definitely a good all-rounder and yeah it like I said it's not as fine milled so it's a bit more kind of it's a denser powder so it kind of like you can bake with it and it will stay in place until you dust it off so this color is like it actually does have a even though it's translucent it has the most ultra light lemony kind of finish to it I think anyway which isn't that visible on the skin but they have just come out with a darker shade which is, I think is like a medium dark shade which works better on dark skin tones which I have yet to try on a dark skin tone so I can't tell you that it is it works great on darker skin tones but I can tell you that generally the formula of the powder which I'm assuming is the same for the darker toned translucent powder that they now have the formula is great I absolutely love it it's just an all-rounder I, I just feel like it's an all-round good product but the, the reason that's not a number one is because the other powders are better than this my number three powder is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder. This powder genuinely I think is a great powder. Now this is also a denser powder so it's definitely not fine milled. It comes in so many different colours so you don't have to kind of rely on one colour, one it's not a translucent powder so it, it's not like something that you can use on any skin colour. There are so many different shades in this. I personally use the shade which is Banana Bread because I feel like it's a banana shade but it's not too yellow which is great. I feel that this basically does really help to keep your makeup in place i feel like you can dust it on with a brush or you can bake as well and when you bake with it i feel like it doesn't necessarily leave as much of a kind of like cakey weird finish if you leave it on longer whereas with other powders i've noticed if you leave it on too long it can just it just looks like if you smart like everything is going to crack you know i feel like this is a very good powder it is definitely a great powder at keeping your makeup in place like the other two powders like as i'm getting to number one i can tell you that number one will keep your makeup in place the longest so that's what i want you to understand about the, these top five it's the top like number one is the best going as we get up to number one number one is the one that keeps your makeup in place the longest that's from me trying it out i also do really like the fact that it does have a kind of net 
finish like on the top it's that's how the the powder is kind of like dispensed but i do feel like generally it's really hard to find a powder like it has this little net so it's easy for the powder to come through i do feel like brands have yet to kind of figure out a really easy mess free way of dispensing powder you know like loose powder it's just it's no matter what it's just still messy you know but i really do like this i do feel like it keeps makeup in place a really long time but i do feel like when it kind of does wear off when the shine comes through the shine comes through it's like not even just a little bit i feel like it's it's really weird because i feel like there's an on off button with this it's like when it turns off and it's finished and it's done it's like straight away that shine just comes in one go so that's a really weird thing about this and i don't know if that's just my skin how it reacts like with this powder or if it is the powder in general for everyone if it is something that happens to you as well with this powder let me know in the comments below because i'd love to know if it's just me or if it does happen to you too but yeah that's generally what i feel about that powder i feel like it is a again like i said it's a it's a nice dense powder because i feel like when the powder is a little bit dense it just keep it does keep it in place i do feel like it does depend on the type of foundation you wear underneath as well but with this powder if you put too much on it can look really kind of like okay wow it's like full-on cake face there so it really does depend on what you're looking for it does work really well just by dusting it over the skin as well so if you're not looking for that heavier finish then you can choose to kind of just dust it over with a brush so yeah that is my number three powder number two is my makeup forever ultra hd setting powder there are numerous shades in this as well and i have to say that the shade different there's so many different shades in this so this can be a little bit more overwhelming but honestly it's such an amazing powder it's weird because this isn't as dense as say the huda powder or the laura mercier powder but it's definitely not as fine milled as the hourglass veil powder and i feel like this is they've got the the dense level like perfect on this because i feel like it's it's, it's not over the top it's not like over the top dense i <laughs> <laughs> just make sense what I'm trying to say and it's also not overly fine milled like it doesn't like when you put it pick it on the brush and it's just like you know it's not like that it, I, I don't even know if any of that makes sense because half of it was like it's not like but yeah anyway what I'm trying to say is it is a very good they've got the texture perfect it's a very good powder they've got it right the colors are actually really good they have like a banana then they have like a light banana so it's not as yellow which I'm so glad and the great thing about makeup forever I am actually part of makeup forever a tribe so what that means is like a whole bunch of us pro artists got to kind of like see these products before they were available to the public so they actually invite all of us down for a few days to wherever they're doing it one time they did it in egypt one time they did it in abu dhabi another time in dubai recently they did it and we get to actually look at all the products and and see everything so it's amazing for us and it we give them our feedback they have this full-on like you know like form like digital form you fill out for each product that you actually go and try and they take it on board and i love that because honestly that is where a brand should be they should be taking feedback and actually implementing it and making those changes so that it fits right and that shows the appreciation they have for artists like myself because you know they understand that we work on so many different faces so we get to see what works and what doesn't work on different skin types and skin colors i genuinely love this powder because i and i feel like it's something you guys are really gonna love because it keeps your makeup in place it is one of those powders that it doesn't like kind of like i feel like it mattifies your skin so nicely like it looks flawless and it doesn't necessarily keep it on all day so that you don't even have to like look at it i feel like you do start to see that slight dewiness come through which is great if that's what you want because sometimes i do that with my own makeup so that like when i know that i don't want my makeup to be super matte i use this powder because later on in the day it's gonna look really nice and kind of like not glowy but like healthy the great thing is it's buildable so i love the fact that you can keep layering on the powder and it's like it just it doesn't keep caking up you will not look cakey with this powder this powder is amazing just so easily blurs the imperfections and like when you put it on you're like what has just happened to my skin it's such a good powder and this is number one on my list of the best powders to keep makeup in place this one is -da -da, it is the ben I luxury pro setting powder i think some of you may have already known that that is the one that i was going to go for because if you didn't see it in the list so far you're probably like 
definitely number one. This powder I have been using for the longest amount of time, honestly for years. It has never failed me, never ever failed me. It's actually a fine milled powder, but fine milled to the sense that it's still slightly dense but it's still fine milled, if that makes sense. So it's fine milled, but it's not kind of like so fine milled that it just disperses in the air. So it is a really, really good powder. It comes in a few different shades, and I love that because you can kind of choose a banana, you can choose a light banana, which is great. And this has to be the one powder that ticks every single box for me. And it also keeps my makeup on the longest. Like I used it probably, I'd say a few hours ago. I haven't touched my face, obviously, other than like dusting a bit of this earlier to show you it literally keeps my makeup in place this is the best powder i have ever used along with these other four powders like so these are five powders that i alternate between and honestly i can't begin to tell you like i've explained to you bit by bit like why each one is great and how it can be used but this powder i have to say is something that i don't think i could ever give up because it keeps my makeup in place i can bake with it and i personally prefer to dust away the powder straight away but you can actually leave it in let it to set there it's a pro powder your face your skin your foundation will look amazing in any light when you use this powder you don't have to worry about flashback you it actually just kind of like it just becomes one in your skin so it just keeps everything in place it just it's almost like a sealant it just kind of like seals everything in. You don't have to worry about shine. You don't have to worry about texture. It diffuses the look of texture on your skin. And genuinely, I've had so many people over the years say to me, like, what have you got on your skin? Like, your skin looks really good. And underneath, I'm like, girl, you don't know what's going on underneath. <laughs> there is some major texture there. But this helps me out. This has literally been my best friend when it comes to makeup. This is the best powder ever. And I think if you pick the right color for yourself, you are going to love it and you know what i love so i like i said i alternate between all of these powders on my clients as well or when i'm working on shoots and obviously banana can't be used on every skin tone it's great for like tan skin tone olive skin tone or darker skin tones than me but anything lighter than that i use the other shade which is called buff and it is amazing so it's not even just that it's banana powder this powder in general is amazing no matter what shade you end up going for i really do hope that this has kind of like helped you pick out the best setting powder powder for you and I really do hope that it's kind of answered some questions because for me I kind of like my main thing with a powder is I want it to tick all the boxes I want it to keep my makeup in place that's ultimately what I want and for it to not kind of ruin my skin and I have been using this for years so you guys can kind of like see has it ruined my skin no it's actually been fine on my skin and it's my trusted powder I know that this is just gonna it's just gonna look after my face it's gonna look after my face it's gonna keep everything in place and i really do hope that this has kind of like answered any questions that you've had and if you do have any other questions about powders or anything then please don't forget to let me know in the comments box below and in the meantime enjoy the rest of your day I hope this video has been super informative for you guys and that it's really kind of like help you make your mind up on what powder you should go for. And if you have any questions, don't forget to let me know in the comments box below. And all the products that I have mentioned are listed in the description box below. So all you need to do is click on the links and it will take you straight to it. And if you do like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.